Lydia is with us in Indianapolis. Hi, Lydia. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. Thanks for having me on. Sure. What's up in your world? I'm, uh, I just have a question for you. Um, I'm a newlywed, and uh, me and my husband um, just got married about a year and a half ago. We went through the Financial Peace University right after we got married, and um, we got married right away. That was about a year ago. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Um, we are kind of in a weird situation where my husband brought in about uh, $26,000 in student loans to uh, the marriage. I didn't bring in any uh, student loans. Um, and I was just wondering, we, we usually take about one uh, vacation a year and one mission trip a year, um, and we raise all the money for ourselves. Um, and I was just wondering, we're really having a hard time kind of chipping away at our debt, and I, I still want to keep going on vacations um, with the time that he has off, but I don't know if that's what's holding us back from, I guess, making any progress with our debt. And we just it's kind of like it's never getting any smaller, even though we put uh, the minimum payment every month. So I was just wondering what your advice was on that. Mm. Well, obviously, you're going to have to find some money to pay more on the debt for it to go away, aren't you? Mm-hmm. That's kind of obvious. Yeah, he makes, he makes $72,000 a year, yeah. so it, shouldn't, it doesn't make sense that we're not able to get more traction If you want it, the debt to go away, the obvious answer is we have to find some money to put onto the debt that you're not putting on the debt now. Right. Something's got to go for the student loan to go. Right. What do you, you want? What do you like want? How about what are you willing to sac? <laughs> what are you willing to sacrifice to get rid of your student loans? Uh, it's so hard because so I far it's to, been like, nothing. <laughs> so far, you're willing to sacrifice nothing. Yeah. You got married <laughs> and you're living your little life with your picket fence and your missions trips and your freaking vacations and you're normal and you got student loans sitting there like you think it's a pet. So far, you've sacrificed yeah. nothing. Yeah. So do we just need to cut back on, on, our, on our spending every month to get to pay the extra towards the debt? You think? <laughs> and maybe the vacation and maybe the missions trip. Yeah. This is not a lifetime sentence. It's saying, hey, we're going to live for a period of time. We're going to roll up our sleeves and go crazy. We're going to sell so much stuff the kids think they're next. We're going to cut our dadgum spending down to nothing. We're going to be on beans and rice, rice and beans. Our, our date night is a frisbee in the park. We are getting out of debt. And you do that for a short yeah. period of time, and then voila, you get rid of $26,000 in one year while making 75000 and you get your life back. The borrower yeah. is slave to the lender. You're feeling the chains of slavery wrapped around your throat right now, aren't you? Yeah. And we don't know how much we're supposed to. I mean, we want to pay it off aggressively, but we don't know how much we're supposed to pay per month to really, like, you know, get it down because we, I mean, we want to still budget for things like, you know, food and the rent and everything like that. Well, so food and rent you can do, but food and rent you can do, but I think an extra job and selling some things and, and, and cutting everything else in your life to the bare bones and $2,000 a month makes this go away in 13 months. 26 okay. divided by two. That was hard. That's what you're going to have to do. You, you're not going to get out of debt until you get mad about being in debt. Right now, it's just kind of like, okay, but you're going to have to get ticked off. And when you get ticked off, you can break the orbital pull of stupid. But stupid has an orbital pull. It's got a gravitational pull to it. And the way you break that, you expend energy. You have to get passionate. You have to get fired up. Hey, I'm the same way. I'm no different than you. No better, no worse, just older and uglier. This is the Dave Ramsey Show.